So that's what we got right there. Let me see. I'm going to do the ones that I know are the. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is tray two. Okay. And in tray two. So. Oh, I see some Swiss char coming up. All right, so this is tray two. So I think I'm gonna start with 11-3, which is bok choy. So 11-3, all right, and that would be this one right here. And that's a lot of little itty bitty ass plants but I do have to get them out there. It's kind of irritating. I don't know why I put so many damn plants in the thing. I don't know. I think if, I don't know, girl, I don't know. The first thing I'm gonna do is get them out of there. So remember it's 11-3. Girl, cause you know your girl is just regular bok choy. So I'm just going to be gentle. And scoop them up out of here. I'm just going to gently break them apart. Now you can't, you have to finish this, okay? You can't keep them out like this. If they dry out, they're dead, okay? So I'm gonna have somebody else sprouting. That looks like it's a different kind of seed. Okay, I'm not in shot, huh? Okay. I think I'm gonna put two plants in one. You try your best not to touch your roots and if you do, don't squeeze them, okay? So that looks like somebody else germinating so i think i'm going to hold on to him like a different plant the swiss chard is over there as well so i just want them all to be separated before i start doing what i'm doing i'm just going to put this right here so you can see i want i want you to be able to see what i'm doing or else there is no purpose so because the stem is very long and you do have to be careful and I just put my little thing and I put it in the hole and there we go. Like I said, I'm putting two in there. So, and I'm making it long, I'm making a hole long because I hate to, I hate letting them get leggy like this, but it doesn't mean that's the end of them. So I really do have to come up with a better plan for my lighting system since I don't have what I used to have anymore and I'm not digging what I have now. <laughs> I can't spell. What's today? I started these on the 8th I believe. So they were transplanted 312. So I'm just gonna put a T. But they were started 38. So that's how I'm gonna do all of them. Okay, so now I just want to show you how I water them. You have to be gentle. The 
purpose is just to make sure that it's not a uh, high volume packed of water okay you just want to get it watered in okay so let's do one more This will also tell you if you need to put, you know, a little more soil. So I could if I wanted to, but I'm not. The rest of the way that I'm going to water this is I'm going to put water at the bottom and let it wick up. That is how I'm going to continue to water this, not this way. So I'm going to finish all the rest, but pretty much that's how you um, do the transplanting with a little newborn babies you can't be angry upset boy when you're doing this boy this teaches you patience this is quite a few of them in here yes it is this is more than one so I'm gonna go right over here to the end I'm gonna go into tray one number two that is Boston pickling cucumbers. Um, so I'm gonna get these out of here because uh, every, wait, is, two, is this two separate rows? Okay, every one of them germinated. So, and you see they get their roots pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go and transplant these very quickly. I love, I love to transplant cucumbers. They smell so good. So now I, I've done all my, um, I have 18, wait, 16 of the regular pak choy and 15 of the purple pak choy or bok choy, whichever one you want to call it, I never know what's the difference. And now I'm going to transplant these Boston uh, pickling cucumbers, all four of them germinated. And I love, love transplanting cucumbers because they smell so good. They smell just like cucumbers, but they have a very strong root system and really, you really shouldn't put more than one. And um, actually, this is, you should put them in a big, bigger container, but you know me, I'm a rebel. I'm a garden rebel. And, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna transplant them. I love the way they smell. And then the next row is bait alpha. get the bait alpha out okay so now we're gonna do row three number two and guess what that is that's my cantaloupe from seeds that I saved when I lived in Texas yep okay so this is who we have going out today some cucumbers my little zucchini that I grew oh there they are Lungo be uncle the seeds weren't very big so I'm interested to see how the plants are gonna be 